Thanks, everybody. So uh, this is not my first time speaking at SecKC, nor is it my first time speaking at Kansas. But this is definitely the largest crowd I've ever spoke at at the SecKC. Sec KC. So let's hear it for you. Um, and, and I'd really love it if I could get a selfie with everybody. Would everybody mind standing up and just coming coming forward and let's take a selfie together? Uh, I just think this is amazing. You don't have to. If you, if you don't want your picture taken, that's fine. But if you wouldn't mind, come on, everybody stand up, come forward, let's take a picture together. Come on. Put the ones in Sec KC shirts up front. <laughs> All right. Is everybody in there who wants to be in there? Oh, feel free. You can flip us off. It's good. Come on. Let's see what finger gestures you got. One, two, three. All right. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, well, while you guys go back, um, so if you guys are here waiting for a good talk, you've already seen it. <laughs> they called, uh, Sec Casey called me uh, yesterday and asked if I would talk, and I told them that I could put some crap together, um, and so this is what, what happened. Um, Okay, well anyway, so uh, my name is Bill Swearing, and I'm one of the founders here at SecKC. Um, for those of you that are new and you stayed, I really appreciate it. For those of you that brought someone new, I appreciate it even more. I just really want to tell you a story about guerrilla marketing um, and, and you know, I kind of give a, a call out to the, to the audience for some help. But first, I want to tell a story. Um, I want to tell a story about how this began. So, in the beginning, I found out about this conference called Compute Midwest. Has anybody attended Compute Midwest? Anybody attend? Well, from what I understand, it was a fantastic conference, and it was held at the Kauffman Center of Performing Arts, and I got really super jealous um, that it said Compute Midwest up there and not Sec KC. Um, and so, um, literally, the, the night before, I, I thought, th this is a solvable problem. Okay, so, so I can go to Compute Midwest and, and take over, right? So my job was I'm going to see what I can do to advertise SecKC at one of the more larger computer conferences here in Kansas City. So I came up with an idea. So I was going to attack the Wi-Fi signal at Compute Midwest. Um, and my idea was that I would set up a Karma box, and for those of you that, that are not aware of what Karma is, Karma is a Wi-Fi hacking utility that when your computer says, hey, I'm looking for my home Wi-Fi, hey, I'm looking for my home Wi-Fi, it says, I'm my home Wi-Fi, and it lets you join. Um, and, and so that was my idea was, okay, I'll set up a Karma box, and when anybody whose phone or computer or whatever was looking, uh, they would join my access point, and then I would control the internet, and I would advertise Set KC. Oh. So that night, I, I started working and I said, okay, I can do this. Um, I got a Raspberry Pi, I got a, a Wi-Fi adapter, a, a, you know, OTG cable, a, a, a SD card, put it together, it, you know, it, it worked okay, but, but as I started adding up, it was 45 bucks. Um, yeah, it's kind of expensive, but whatever. I, I'm gonna be able to take over the, the Wi-Fi at Compute Midwest and easily um, wow all my friends, you know, be able to tell a story at Set KC, so, so let's go. Um, and then, then the morning when I was getting to go, I, just, ugh, I don't have a ticket. Oops, okay, well, uh, so what I did is I got this instead. I went inside and I grabbed one of the table tents and I ripped it in half and put it around my neck um, and hoped for the best and hoped that that would work as a ticket, and it did. Um, and so as, as, I was, uh, as I was there, up, up there, enjoying some coffee, um, broadcasting to, uh, to Compute Midwest about how you should go to Set KC, um, and if you, oh, and I, I kind of forgot to mention, what happens is if you were to join the access point, and then try to go to anywhere on the internet. I would intercept your DNS and redirect you to my web page, therefore uh, advertising, hey, instead of joining you know, your Wi-Fi here, you should go to SecKC. Um, you know, I uh, had a little ASCII text there that, that uh, said you know, a little bit about SecKC, advertised the date, the location, uh, Kansas Hall, um, and who was gonna be speaking, those kind of things. Uh, the problem was is uh, I, I forgot to write in, in there how many you know any kind of co 
code to detect how many connect. So I'm not sure how many connections there was going to be, but I decided, uh, or how many people I actually got to, to join, I have no idea. But I decided, hey, this is a great idea. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build all of these for people who join SecKC and uh, give them out. But so as I started doing the math here, um, I kind of came up with it's going to cost us about four hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars to be able to do that. For those of you math majors in here, you should really probably recheck that math. Um, but but I decided, hey, this is an idea worth exploring. We should we should look at something else. So I found this board. Uh, has anybody played with the ESP eighty two sixty six at all? I got a couple. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Well, the, um, so the interesting thing, I don't know, is Mike Lindsay in the house at all? Um, so it, I don't see him here. Mike Lindsay came up to me in 2015 and said, you should check out the ESP8266. And I was like, yeah, okay. Um, thanks, I guess. Um, um, and, and now in 2017, I was like, oh my God, ESP8266 is the best thing out there. So he's a little two years ahead of me. But so what the ESP8266 is, is a very inexpensive device that was created to add Wi-Fi to other inexpensive devices. Okay? Um, so, so its sole purpose when it was created was to add Wi-Fi to a device. However, people being very creative, some hackers found out, hey, this, uh, this device has an SOC on it already, or a system on a chip already. Maybe we can port Arduino to it, and maybe we can get it to run Arduino. And sure enough, um, as of right now, the ESP8266 is very mature um, as a full stack, development stack. Um, if you can write Arduino, you can write to the ESP8266. And even better, it costs $2. So shout out to our DEF CON uh, badge team. Where are you guys at? Let's see your DEF CON badge teams. Here they are. So. Uh, so uh, the, the DEF CON badges, if you guys haven't seen them, and I think I, I saw you guys were showing them off here a little bit earlier, um, the, the great thing about the badges that they used this year is they used open source hackable electronics, right? So they used the ESP8266's big brother, the ESP32, um, and that's what, uh, you know, it was the badge to have this year because totally hackable, and if you haven't seen it, seen the one, what people have come up with, I, I'd say you check it out over here. Okay, so so now I figured out, okay, well, I, I know what to do. I'm gonna write new code, but instead of using Karma, I'm gonna use Captive Portal. Um, this has some, some unique uh, advantages, and, and I'll explain here in a second. Um, so I called up the, the greatest programmer that I know, the world's greatest programmer, Brian Garrity, over there. Yeah. Gregory Anderson? Yeah, Greg Anderson, whatever your name is. I don't know, Alice, whatever. Um, and he wrote us some code. Um, so that when, when I deploy this device, this $2 device, and someone connects to it, they get a hacker pop-up. So here's uh, you connecting to the device. And that was all Brian Garrity right there. Where is it? Can you reboot it? We just locked it up. Which one? The, the I know, but which one? I got three of them. No, try harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. So, so uh, right now, what I've got is I've got a two-dollar device um, uh, that is running a uh, it broadcasts an SSD. As you can see in this example right here, I'm broadcasting the the SSID uh, conference Wi-Fi which happens to be very popular. Um, um, and if you join it, um, you'll get a pop-up that you know, kind of advertise SecKC. So I took a little bit further, and if you stay connected, oh no. Please. Blue screen at that. Please. There we go. So I took it a little bit further. Okay, so I just need to stay far away from this. If you stay connected, um, I built a little embedded hacking challenge into them. Um, and, and right now, they're, they're right here. So um, this is one, um, and I'll reboot it because so, the DSM guys are in it. Um, this one's the other. If you haven't seen this one, this one's a sight to behold. I literally tried to make it as scary looking as possible. There's wires um, coming out of it, just a little bit of duct, you know, like uh, black tape just to uh, make it look nasty. Um, and, then, and then here is one just uh, all by itself. Um, and and it, just, it really just looks like what I, what I showed up there above. All right, Mr. Pohl, all three have been... 
Rebooted. So right now I'm calling them cachas. Um, yeah, so I was trying to like, I, I literally was like, okay, I, I gotta come up with something creative. Um, so how many of you guys remember throwies from the past, you know, 10 years ago, you'd make a little LED thing and you, you'd throw it and have a magnet and stick and you know, that was pretty awesome. Um, really, I think that th those uh, were popular mainly because the name was throwy. So if anybody has something more creative, I'd, I'd sure be interested to, to hear. So, but the interesting thing is I deployed three of them in interface. <laughs> Uh, how many people went to Interface? All right, look at that. Uh, did anybody see the, the uh, oh, I got one, yeah. Is that why you came, sir? Yeah, no, yes, no, no, no. Yeah, all right, thank you. Uh, buy that man a drink for saying yes. <laughs> so, um, the, the, this is the best story ever. So, you know, I, I, I tried to go to Interface early. That didn't happen. Um, so I'm there with, uh, you know, the, the 200 people. Meanwhile, I am uh, literally taping these things to the bottom of the tables around Interface. And uh, someone sits down, um, uh, so those of you here would probably know, she caught me. <laughs> you know. Um, she caught me, though that one caught me. Um, yeah, taping those to the underneath of the tables, and I was like, no, 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 I'm, I work here. It's, you know what? I'm, this is my job. Um, so, uh, so I deployed two of those underneath the table, and one at the set KC at the set KC booth. Um, and the SSIDs I tried were um, first. I tried all three interface. So that was the that was the Wi-Fi SSID there at the at the. Um, at the conference, and it didn't work very well. And what I found was that uh, the SSIDs that they had in, at at the conference were much more powerful than my than my ESPs. And so the the interface Wi-Fi, nobody was connecting to them. So I thought, ha ha, I'll solve this. I changed one to interface secure, one to conference Wi-Fi, and one to interface Wi-Fi, and I got 37 connections. Yeah, I know. Well, so then I took them to DEF CON. <laughs> and I put them on my backpack and as I walked around. Um, so the, the two SSIDs that I, that I took, that I put them on at, at Black Hat DEF CON were DEF CON Secure and Join for Hacking Challenge. Um, and I added little beepers to them. Uh, so if anybody connected, I would get a beep because they're right, right here in my backpack. And 114 people, oops, I, 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 no one caught me taping them to those tables, sorry, let me, let me edit. No, nope, not gonna touch it. 114 connections at Black Hat DEF CON connected to my, uh, to my, to my uh, ESPs. So here's what I want to do. I want to blanket America with these things, right? <laughs> Right. Um, so, so to me, I think that the best thing that we as, as a hacking community could do would be to uh, deploy as many of these as possible around the, the Kansas City community, all having the, uh, the, the SEC KC, you know, some sort of SSID broadcast that advertised SEC KC. Perhaps, uh, you know, the, the, the next SEC, SEC KC is, you know, uh, August 8th or whatever, um, and, and deploy them. So I started looking, what would it take to do that? Um, it's actually pretty uh, pretty cheap, right? So um, right now I'm using the the Wemos D1 Mini. Um, that's what I showed up here earlier. That's uh, it's two dollars seventy six cents. The reason why I like this one. So any of those of you that have done uh, you know any kind of programming with Arduino or, or even the SP8266, just connecting to it can be a real pain in the ass. The the D1 Mini really really solves that. You literally just connect to it uh, with a USB cable and you get a serial connection. It's really easy to program. Um, there's a lipo charger um, and a battery. It costs us about 474. So um, I bought a hundred of them. Uh, look under your seat. So I didn't have I didn't have enough to put them underneath every seat. So if you don't have one under yours, just keep looking. There's gum down there. So, so this is actually why I went second, because I'm a huge letdown. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I'm glad you guys all looked. Uh, so, so in, in true DEF CON style, this being the SEC AC after DEF CON, I literally do have 100 of the Wemos but I didn't get the lipo chargers or the batteries in time. Literally today, I work from home like saying, please, 
please come today. Please come today. Um, they didn't come, so I blame China. <laughs> oh. ah. Hold on, I gotta blame China here real quick. I blame China. China, China. But I need to work. Okay, so so I have 100 of these um, that I that I will be uh, that are for you. Okay, so they are for the Set KC audience. Um, now I only have 100, um, and so what I'm really asking is anybody that wants to do something awesome, either for this project or Set KC, um, part of you know just our community, do something awesome right now, and, and you'll get one at the next Set KC. There's a lot of work that I need on these things. So so while I do have uh, I have developed the base framework of them, it needs a lot of work. The, the captive portal, I've got three of them running right now. Um, if, you, if you do want to check them out, I, I promise, I, I, I promise, I made them, okay? I wrote them, They're, it's running my code as far as I know. <laughs> I, I promise, if you connect to them, it, it won't do anything malicious. I, 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 I will make you this promise. I mean, if anybody uh, wants to hold, hold anybody accountable, hold me accountable, okay? So I, I'm standing in front of you telling you that if you want to check them out, um, they're, they're completely benign. Um, they, they literally, they will connect. They will show you, uh, display what, what you saw there. Um, there is a hacking challenge embedded in them. Um, for those of you that, that do connect, you'll see that there's some problems with the captive portal. I, I need a little bit of assistance with that. Um, for those of you that complete the hacking challenge, you'll see that it's um, it was pretty trivial, right? So there was a, uh, it was a, a good step uh, to get into it, um, and there's some you know there's some neat things that you can do with it. I've, I've embedded a little bit of uh, some toys in there, um, but it could do a lot more. So if anybody is interested in, in helping writing code for them, uh, the codes on my GitHub. Um, once again, I promise. Uh, if you want that QR code is legit, it's benign. It'll take you to it'll take you to that GitHub page. Um, if anybody wants to help, but it's, it's on my GitHub, the the Heaven Sent GitHub, or you can just search for it, find it there. Um, accept pull requests or whatever you got. Um, and that's the end of my talk. So I'm going to leave it up. Um, feel free to uh, to come and look at them. Uh, you know, test them, play with them, whatever you want. Um, I really would encourage any pull requests at my GitHub page. And uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that, Casey.